Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. Today's video I'll be going over this article by Honeyminer on how to optimize your NVIDIA GPUs. Now over here it goes over um, three specific uh, NVIDIA GPUs with a 1080 Ti, a 1080 and a 1070 Ti. Unfortunately I do not have any of those but I do have a 1060 3 gig GPU on this computer. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to see if I can apply the same, I guess, principles of this article in tweaking um, the GPU for my 1060 to see if I can get a better um, results in um, Honeyminer. So let me just open Honeyminer right now and then you can see what I am getting. So as you can see on this computer, um, my Honeyminer is getting roughly 19.23 mega hashes a sec per second um, and this is the stats at the clock at 1797 megahertz and um, it, the temperature at 80 celsius with an estimate of 22 cents a day so i'm gonna take down these stats and copy it down and then i'm gonna pause the video and implement the changes to my gpu per the article so first thing um, we need to do to um, be able to do this overclocking is download um, MSI Afterburner. Now, just a precaution that um, you see this little disclaimer. Um, it says all GPUs will react to settings in their own way. No two cards, even of the same make and model, will be exactly the same. So just be careful not to overdo it because you could uh, ruin your card with that being said let's install um, honey um, afterburner and here's the website msi.com page afterburner and I'm gonna click down here for download afterburner now I've already downloaded it so um, I have it here I extracted it it's a zip file and I'm just gonna double click this to get it to run And let me bring the install prompt onto the screen. Here we go. I'm going to click OK. And the reason why I'm doing this, I have multiple monitors and it just flashes on the other monitor instead of the one that I'm recording on. So let's click Next, Accept, Next, and Next, Next, and then Install. It installs pretty quickly. And while that's installing, let us go back to the article. And let me start Afterburner. There we go. So here's MSI Afterburner. And let's go back to the article. Over here, you got to open MSI Afterburner. And then we're going to go to the settings. Let me just put this on the side here. And then bring this guy over here. See if we can get them both on screen. Okay. Click on the settings, and it says here to you want to click the check box on the interface to apply the settings. Okay, so over here, first um, go to settings so that the secondary card can be optimized. So let's uncheck that, and then click OK. Now, so these are the, the limits that they put up for the 1080, the, 10, the 1080 Ti to 1080, and the 1070. And they look like to be a power limit of 85%, 75 degrees, and a core clock plus 75, memory clock plus 400. So let me tweak around with that. So you can see here you can adjust the power limit over here. So I'm going to put it to 85. Temperature limit at 75. Looks like these are hand in hand. Core clock at plus 75. Maybe you can type it out. Yes, you can. And the memory clock plus 400. check okay let me pause this and I'll get honey miner started 
Okay, so I've had my Honeymire um, running with these new uh, settings for a while now. And as you can see, uh, the temperature is at 75 degrees. Still the estimated USD is at 22 cents. But if you look at the mega hash per second, we are at 19.86. So there is uh, definitely an improvement. Um, just taking the two numbers of 19.23 from before to the to the current numbers, we have an increase of 0.63, which is a 3.28% increase. Now, not sure if that's anything substantial for just a single card, but it is an increase. So tweaking does help a bit. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.